Hey guys, I'm Katie. Welcome to my channel. I'm all about cosmetics, beauty, and aesthetic. If you're in, please like to support and subscribe. And let's get started. Today we're talking about drugstore makeup. So a few days ago I went to Watson's and a lady in the shop she recommended me this brand like a lot. I haven't heard of it. Maria Nod, I believe I I said correctly. I remember there were shops like Sephora Cosmetics Makeup Shops before Marinade, but apparently they launched their own brand and I'm pretty much excited to try it out. I bought a few items of this brand and some other stuff as well. So let's get started. We will start with a powder, I think. And oh, I need scissors. Okay, get back to the cosmetics. I've opened everything, so it should be fine. Basically, the package looks like the. Actually, I like. I really like the package. It looks like luxurious. So you open it up. Oh. Oh. Just being a. My French is poor. It looks cute. Look at it. The packaging is so nice. Uh, the only thing is, I couldn't find any description in English online and. Since I bought it in China, everything is in Chinese, so my my boyfriend tried to translate it for me and he said, according to what they say here, it brightens up the complexion, smooths everything out, covers imperfections and work well with the makeup. Let's see. Oh wow, it looks nice. Look at it. I'm a bit disappointed it doesn't have any any brush along the way, but okay, let me find the brush. Here we go, back with the brush. This one is Real Techniques 201. Let's try it out. You cannot really tell on the hand. Yeah, it does brighten, no? <laughs> let me try on the face maybe a little bit. I cannot really tell because I already used another powder, right? But I'm really excited to try it out. Tender Flawless Pressed Powder, my one in the shade Natural 03. It's pretty light, actually. I, I believe number one and number two, they were like, number one, I think, transparent, and number two, more like a vanilla, super, super sheer. Look at this one, it's super, super light. I will let you know what I think about this powder later and next we've got two mascaras. First one is from the same brand, Marionade, and the next one is Cabaret. I, I, you know, I order it online and usually in China they just put stickers all around when you order it online and I really wanted to tear the sticker off and clean this area but I think I just ruined the package. Well, I've been using this mascara for a long time, I just wanted to share it with you because it's super, super cheap but it's just amazing. You can look at my eyelashes. I'm wearing it today. It's good, like really legit good. So let's start with this one first. Oh wow, I think the package is kind of like similar to the previous one to powder. It looks nice. It looks like this. Um, the mascara is lengthening and curling. This one is lengthening and curling mascara. Let's take a look at the wand. Oh, the wand has a little bit of a curve. Oh, it has a, I, I like it. I've been told by the girl that it's a waterproof mascara, but it's really easy to remove. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I will let you know later as well. And this one, I basically, where do, this is my mascara. They, they've got like a golden version as well, but I like this one better. This one is artistic volume mascara. I'll show you my one. I'm running out of it. It looks like this. I do not like the plastic one, but somehow this one works so well. If you get a chance, I would recommend you to try this one out. Vivienne Sabopari, Cabaret. 
Is it upside down, right? Oh my gosh. No, 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 it's correct. Okay. I'll link everything in the description box below. Next, I've got four lip products. Oh, five in fact. So the first one is from the same brand, Marionard, and it's like crystal shining lip tint. I like their packaging. It actually looks luxurious in a way. Oh, the color looks nice. In the tube. It looks like this. Actually, I do not have anything on my lips today, so I will try it out so you can see how it looks like. Um, and this one in the, this one in the shade T201. Let me swatch it first. It's like a, oh. rosy nude color. It applies so nicely, it's so soft and smooth. I like the texture of it. I'm not sure if it's a waterproof or whatever, because I remember, I think this one or the next one, I think this one, girl was telling me that it's kind of like, a proof formula you can wear it like under the mask and it will not transfer free blah 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 but so far I wouldn't say that let's try to erase it oh I see what she meant it's a tin it stains it stains your lips apparently okay so it looks like this let's erase it wipe it off Mm, it's yeah, it does. It does stain a little. I think I'll go wash it off. So I wiped everything off so we can get to the next one. Makeup Miracle Hoi de Couture Satin Lipstick. This one in the color in the shade Lovestick, uh, Lovestick Girl 09. Let's open it up. Oh, goodness looks like this interesting it's more like a pen oh, here we go let me swatch it oh it's like a satin finish wow it's like a mauve pinky mauve color it looks beautiful let's apply on Wow, it's so hydrating. Looks so nice. Usually, you know, these kind of things I never buy it because they are very drying. But this one is so nice. It feels like cream on your lips, you know. Hmm. Well, yeah, it is very comfortable to wear. It like, feels like a cream on your lips. It's very soft and hydrating. But I really want to uh, know how it wears throughout the day. And as you, as you can see, it transfers, but a little bit, so it's okay. It doesn't, does it? I don't know. Oh my. Does it stain your lip? I'm not sure. I don't know. Let me wipe this one off. We'll see. No, it does not. For most easily. Yeah. I will let you know later. Maybe I can make monthly favorites video. Next one is Perfect Dairy, a lip gloss in the shade H13. And um, on the side it says wine red, right? Red wine. I don't know because the name was in Chinese. So the gloss looks, oh my, it looks like this. It's more of a lip, uh, liquid 
lipstick, I would say. Let's try it out. Well, yeah, I believe the shade is red wine. It's like bloody red, whatever. But it looks nice. Mm, it's not that sticky like glosses, but pretty soft and comfortable to wear. Well, it definitely you can say that it's a gloss. Actually, on the hand, I don't know. It doesn't look that shiny that it does on the lips. Feels actually really nice. I'm surprised that all the glosses today and liquid lipsticks, or lipsticks, feel so well. Oh, it does stain your lips a little bit. Well, the glossy finish will transfer for sure. Hmm, that's interesting. I like it. So, I've got another product from Perfect Dairy. Perfect Dairy. Uh, Glamour Select Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And this one in the shade... Where is the shade? Oh, v, uh, V10. Glamour Select... Oh, no, just V10. No name. Let me take this one off. Oh wow, you know guys, after I took this uh, lip gloss off, lips feel so, so nice and soft. Wow. Okay, coming back to this one, V10. Oh, it's a magnetic case. Wow, that's so cute. Okay, so come here. It looks like this. Let's swatch it next oh it is a liquid lipstick it's more like a orangey nude i would say at least on the hand let's try to apply it on the lips it looks like this i think it would look better if you were gradient it with another lip balm or lip balm what lip gloss or lipstick oh it doesn't stain maybe a teeny tiny a little bit but it removes pretty well let me try maybe even that one let me try and apply it in the center because the color is actually i don't know what do you think guys just not mine i think Okay, along with the gloss, it looks way better. So I think I will pair both Perfect Dairies together. It looks way better. And the last one, guys, is this one from Vaseline Lip Care Creme Brulee, I think. Uh, it's like a, a, a lifesaver, you know, um, because now in Beijing is very dry and getting colder and it helps your lips stay hydrated and smooth and soft and just alive it's so nice i repurchased this one i've been using this little guy for a while and it's so good it's basically a vaseline but yeah you, you can't really tell it just hydrates i think you can use it to like you know like maybe on your elbows or whatever if you need anywhere um but it's so nice and i really like the way it smells this one specifically i just recommend <laughs> this one is my Current love. I love it. And the last but not least, ta da! Stereo moisturizing cream. As I've, as I've mentioned, Beijing is getting so dry and cold. Well, cold. It will get cold eventually. So, this is like, I don't know, I used um, peptide serum uh, for like half a year now and I was like wow it's actually a good product I need to give it a try I need to buy more CeraVe products so I just put my hands on this one moisturizing cream for dry to very dry skin moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier of the face and body with three essential thermides and hyaluronic acid I really want to try this one out. Oh, wow. Mm, smells like basically nothing. I'll put it here. Just thick and nice. And actually, 
it doesn't leave like a sticky finish so it's really nice i, I want to try it not only for the body but also for the face let me know guys if you've tried this one or any other CeraVe products um let me know in the comment section down below and i will give it a try as well and thank you guys for watching please like to support and subscribe and see you guys next time xoxo bye bye